Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at two new features in GameMaker Studio 2. These came out in the latest update and they're both very useful. So let's get started. So I have some code for my text-based adventure game that I made a while back and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this look a lot nicer using something called regions. So what we can do with regions is actually just put hashtag or pound sign region and then like a comments we can just name it something so region init and then at the end of a region you can do end region and once this goes away you'll see that you can actually click this and close the region so now I have a region for init so basic initialization stuff and we can have another region here we can make this region region um let me see region start game and then end region so now if we ever need to go back and edit this code we can easily just select one of these and expand to the one that we need to edit and just have the other ones closed. So I'm going to show you how much nicer this is once I have all of this done. So you can see here I have four closed regions right now and I can open up any of the regions and see the code inside. And there's some other things you can do with this. So these should be indented maybe since they're nested inside of this region. So now when I open these up they're both indented and I can unindent and then the whole thing is unindented so that's just a really nice little manipulation feature you can have and I can indent this indent this and do well whatever I need so that's regions for you they're pretty nice and they're in a lot of programming uh, IDEs so the other new thing that is in Game Maker Studio 2 and is very useful is being able to open multiple projects at the same time. This is going to be very nice to have and I was very surprised that it that Game Maker didn't have this before. So as you can see I just pressed the new IDE button and it just opens another window so I can just open another project such as my level builder tutorial. Now I have both of them open at the same time. I can go back and forth with two different projects. I could make sure they have the same sprites or see what code I used for this or that. But it's very useful to have. So there were also other updates with this, with this new update. And one of them is the font change, which you can clearly see is different if you've been using Game Maker Studio before but it's all around a very nice update to have and it's lots of useful features soon we'll be getting more updates as well so stay tuned for that 